Today it looks like Louis Gomer is trying to win some sort of government irony award by questioning the <laughs> mental impairment and soundness of Hillary Clinton. Let's, let's listen. You don't make fun of people who are impaired, have special needs, and whether you like her or not, Hillary Clinton has made clear she is mentally impaired. And uh, <laughs> this is not somebody you should be making fun of. Now, I get the impression that in law school and along the way, she's been very, very smart. But I, I don't know, maybe it was the concussion, the fall back when she did. Or maybe, who knows, you know, they won't tell us what really is going on with her. But um, if I were going to smash phones, blackberries, I'd use a two-pound sledge. I think that's the most, well, who knows, maybe somebody got to wailing around and hit her again. I don't know, but, uh, but we need to be praying for Hillary Clinton. Uh, there are special needs there. There's mental impairment. And uh, I got that stupid song in my head uh, that Rush Limbaugh used to play, and it was to the tune, Try to Remember, and it's Hillary Clinton say, I don't remember my brain's in a blender. And, um, you know, I, I, for, for the first time ever, like, he's joking. Like, uh -huh. yeah, like, yeah, he's like, joking. I, he's joking. Like, and his, like, it's actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, like his from delivery his, was fine. Like, I mean, he stayed. They laughed, and he didn't, he didn't yeah. break character at all there in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he was saying loathsome things. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, but you're right. His delivery for the first time was less than loathsome. Right, and right. I, normally yeah. he has no sense of humor at all, and he's like, Barack Obama's working with the Muslims to reconstitute the Ottoman Empire. I'm not kidding, it's yeah. happening. It's right. gonna happen tomorrow, and you're like, yeah. Jesus Christ. The, the, the only thing that could, have, <laughs> that could have sold the delivery better was a little bit of self-deprecation, because he should know that everybody thinks he's a moron. If he doesn't know that, then he's really a but moron. But isn't that the amazing thing about him? Like, it's one thing to have plenty of people in politics that you're like, okay, this is not like an exceptional person. Mm -hmm. All right, fair enough. But it's amazing when there's a guy like that that you're like, absolutely, I'm just yeah. picking him as like consistently below average. As the stupidest person. Like, yeah. oh, like, yeah. like in any situation. Like, I don't see him managing like an Applebee's. No. And no, he's no. in Congress and he was a judge. Yeah. He was I mean, a judge. Like, people's, people's lives were on the line in front of Louis Gomer. Yeah. That is so unacceptable. So, yeah. so because he didn't do that self-deprecation, he opens himself up to criticisms that perhaps he's not as mentally sound as he would like to imply in comparison to Hillary Clinton. So we've uh, gone back and picked out some of the highlights that we've previously talked about on the show. There were so many we could have chosen, uh, but here are some of the favorites. Uh, and the first one, uh, you may have thought he was just a politician and a judge. Turns out he's actually an amateur scientist. <laughs> he has an idea on how we can use science to prove that gay marriage is dumb. Let's listen. He said, look, I think we can do a study. We're good at funding studies. We can take four heterosexual couples, married, put them on an island where they have everything they need to sustain life, take four all-male couples, put them on an island with all they need to sustain life, take four women or four couples of women, um, married, put them on an island, and let's come back in 100, 200 years and see which one nature says is the preferred marriage. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he got denied funding for that experiment, yeah. unfortunately. I like <laughs> it. They would put the four couples on each of the islands and be like, okay, see you in 200 years. <laughs> 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 That's exactly the kind of study that Gobert would want to do, and then they're like on his on his deathbed, he's like, no, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna know. <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, a little bit odd, uh, but he has thoughts about the military as well. Once again, focusing on uh, LGBT uh, members of uh, the U.S. population. Oddly, he can't seem to get off of that, but uh, let's listen to his military suggestions. And I've had people say, hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with, uh, um, you know, gays in the military. Look at the Greeks. Well, you know, they did have... Um, People come along who they loved. It was the same sex and would would give them massages before they went into the battle. But you know what? It's a different it's a different kind of fighting. It's a different kind of war. 
And if you're sitting around getting massages all day, ready to go in the big planned battle, then you're not going to last very long. It's guerrilla fighting. Uh, you are going to be ultimately vulnerable to terrorism. And, uh, you know, if that's what, what you start doing in the military like the Greeks did, as people have said, Louis, you got to understand, you don't even know your history. Oh, yes, I do. I know exactly. Yeah. You studied military history. Not a good history. idea. Oh, yes, I do. No, no. He, he, he studied the history oh, yeah, books where they talked about the massages. The yeah, Greek can, I, but can I ask you guys a question? And it's embarrassing to even take it this seriously. It costs like $50 and then probably 50 to tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what I'm about to say is significantly less funny than that. But, but, but okay, hand-to-hand, -hand, like, Spartan combat yeah. versus, like, sitting around operating a drone. Yeah, like which is like actually which has which the yeah. massage maybe might fit. No, I was thinking all those movies lifestyle. like no, that's the wor that's the most dangerous battle yeah. there was. It's hand to hand. Hand to hand, sword. you want to be the hatchet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they could do it with a little bit of relaxation. Now it's like, hey, we have the targets. We don't exactly know who's there. Why don't you take a little decompress and knock out some places <laughs> in Pakistan? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I, I, yeah. But all right, let's let's go to my favorite, and then I'm going to tell you why I actually think that Gomer's new strategy, which is actually Trump's strategy, of course, might actually work. So, but first, one more from Gomer. When you attack somebody's integrity and say they made statements that were not true, then of course uh, that is uh, raises a point of personal privilege. But the attorney general failed to answer my the questions about what was after Bud. He went back to gentlemen, the gentlemen, regular order, Mr. Chairman. Aspersions gentlemen, on my asparagus. The, the, Still don't know what that means. Don't cast aspersions on my asparagus. Don't cast aspersions on my asparagus. Here's what it means. He is a really dumb guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's it. It's not that complicated. He thought asparagus meant something else. He is no way. Yes. Really? Or yes. he thought aspersions meant something else, and he means like don't like he thinks aspersions is another word for olive oil. <laughs> you know? <laughs> is he talking about food or is this metaphysic? I don't know. No, no. He's he just thought a he was really complaining to a waiter. Yeah, he's a really dumb guy. Eric it makes, Holder was in front of him. So it makes me now, a new uh, one though. Makes me think that that first one where I praised his comic timing, like he didn't, he was like, he he's actually know. surprised by. I the think laughter. he spoke a little yeah, too exactly. soon yeah. on that yeah. one, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he wanted to uh, really speak dumb. out in favor of a pipeline in Alaska, and uh, so he did by appealing to your concern over uh, the sex lives of caribou, saying, "So when caribou want to go on a date, they invite each other over to head over to the pipeline." So my real concern now is, if oil stops running through the pipeline, do we need a study to see how adversely the caribou would be affected if that warm oil ever quit flowing? Is, this guy's obsessed with warm he, oil and massages. Is he yeah. married? Yeah. What I've noticed is, uh, especially with homophobes, they always seem to focus on one graphic physical act that yes. they can't help but talk about when talking about gay sex. Or any time gay you love, see or a gay right or whatever. dude on media or on social, it's always shove it down our throat. It is exactly I've never, never said yeah. that Every in my time. life. They're yeah. always like, oh, they have this pipeline, they're gonna shove, shove it down, down our throats. Right? <laughs> or no, okay, they're, right. they're gonna yeah. disassemble they're this gonna take some warm, down our throats. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna take some warm oil and after giving us a good massage. We're not gonna last long. <laughs> okay. Or it's like when Ben Carson said like, oh, you, well, I mean, you could become gay if you go to jail. Like that is like probably the top fear of like almost all heterosexual men in the world. Like go to jail and get assaulted. And he's like, it could be tempting. <laughs> so <laughs> that's open, he's open-minded in no, that you one know why? area. Fair enough. Fair no, enough. Because, yeah. No, because these homophobes, they are they're on the spectrum somewhere, and so they think if I go to jail and there's only guys, of course I would sleep with the guys. So of course jail makes you gay. That's that's what's going through Ben Carson's head. Anyway, look, the, the reason why um, a lot going through uh, that head. The reason why this might work, unfortunately, this whole uh, Hillary Clinton is mentally unbalanced is what are they doing? They're it, it, they're attacking her on Donald Trump's weakness. He's unstable, mm -hmm. and so hey, don't put the Republican in his hands. It's crazy. He, they're trying to neutralize that by going, she's mentally unbalanced. Right. Now, yeah, it's a really hard thing to combat because you say no, she isn't. There is nothing to uncover. There is no medical reports. They say, and then Gomert says, and you saw it in the first clip. See, they won't tell us. Yeah. No, we well, just told what? you. Okay. Yeah, but you didn't release the medical records. But there are no medical records. Uh, see, they won't tell us. It's yeah. like the that's so how that's, conspiracy right, theories not, work. It's yeah. not an accident that he talked. Right, her temperament. She doesn't have a temperament to be present. It's yeah. not an accident that the thing with the earpiece, like that was yeah. again, that suggests. I mean, one thing you can't. No one who pays attention to this, even people on the left who hate Hillary Clinton, right, would or would argue. I, I don't think she needs help in a debate about national security. Our thing is. 
she's a hawk. Like, we're worried that she's too right wing. Yeah. She can handle herself in that debate. She doesn't need an earpiece, but that plays into the idea that she's lost her rocker. She'll lose her train of thought. She had a serious brain injury, and, and somebody has to be talking. I think you're room. totally right, but does it contradict the, at all? Like, they have one notion that she's like this ruthless, unique agent of evil right, in right, human yeah. history. Right, right, right. And then on that same time, she's completely incompetent. That's right. Yeah. But, it's at, very but at consistent. the same time, yeah. I mean, they have a certain amount of mental flexibility for believing conspiracy theories. I mean, we were talking no, I think, I mean, a production meeting. Them, that, but in terms of like pushing that to the public, right? Sure, does they it, can believe maybe, whatever. Or they might but I'm hope saying that, that's a contradictory message. Right? Does but it, but under, it doesn't does mean that both the second message undermine yeah. the first message? Yeah. Assuming no. that both messages get to one person, no. it could that's be one exactly message gets right. to one person and the other gets okay. the other. They believe simultaneously that she is on the brink of death from terminal illness that they can diagnose from seeing her cough. They also believe there's alien life extension technologies that she is hoarding from the public. <laughs> so which is it? Does she have Martian health insurance? Or is she about to drop dead? I don't know why you guys are mocking that part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like we can support her, but we gotta be true to the facts. Yeah. And about, say what yeah, you yeah, will yeah, about, about Mars. The, yeah. I mean, everybody's covered. You know? <laughs> Single payer. If they're not, yeah. show us the records. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, they won't show us. They won't show us. I would send people to Mars, four couples for a hundred years, and then see how healthy they are. But it, in all seriousness, they're trying to hit those independents that are low information voters. Mm -hmm. And so some of them are going to go, I don't know, man, she seems unbalanced, I'm voting for Trump. Uh, or some are going to say, their wives are going to say, hey, he seems unbalanced. He's gonna, they're going to say, yeah, well, she's got mental brain damage, I'm voting for Trump. And some are going to yeah. say, oh, she's a kid, part of the elites and the lizard people and yada yada. It's going to work for different guys. Yeah. So they're trying to hit because their only hope, and it's a decent hope at this point, is that they convince enough low information voters. And this is exactly the kind of nonsense yeah. that, they, that, that those kind of voters sometimes eat up. They don't care about the minutia of your foreign policy on Crimea. They, they, you know, they care about... You know, things that they heard from their buddies. Oh, yeah, I heard you got brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> I like that impression. But I think yeah. that these voters are Republicans mostly already. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just, yeah, I don't I, think there's very few people that are actually undecided. And every time people are like, who votes for Trump? It's like, well, the people that voted for him. And mm -hmm. I always thought he'd win the Republican primary. Why mm -hmm. not? If I was Republican, I'd vote for Donald Trump. He's great. Yeah. Like, I he mean, responds to every insult with, like, well, you're gay. <laughs> or whatever. I mean, I would. I wouldn't like Muslims. I wouldn't like Hispanic people. I would be homophobic, and I would think that the answer to all life's problems is just be like, yeah, well, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Done. So, where in that range of what's left are people that I mean, there might be people that they are so disgusted that they just say, "Fuck it, I'm not going to vote at all." But are there really that many people out there that are actually genuinely thumb on the scale? Hillary or Trump at this point? Yes, I, I've read I know. estimates about I ten do. to twenty percent of people wow. say they're not sure because you, yeah, some yeah, people you guys wrong. gotta remember yeah. it. No, you gotta remember it. They don't, they don't know any of the things we know. They know like two percent of what we mm -hmm. know. This is our job. So I'm not trying to say we're better than them. I'm just saying this is what we do, right? We he said it. We <laughs> we dissect yeah. the news. Okay, fine. We're a little better. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> we dissect the news and we learn the news and we know all the. Minutia, those guys have no fucking and, idea and where Aleppo is. They don't give a shit about Aleppo. They don't care about anybody. They go, ah, she's a broad, you know, broads don't. Yeah, that's you know. a Republican. Yeah. Again, no, you go to no, I just, that's a no, Republican. No, but that's what I'm telling you, Michael. I talked to two guys who vote Democrat their whole lives. Oh. They, that's what they told me. Okay. So I did read a lot of stats. Just on okay. During the primary, I read, uh, this isn't everybody, but a lot of the people that Trump supposedly were, was bringing into the primary, these are people who don't vote. They are people who vote. They vote Republican in presidential elections. Yes. They just don't get engaged in the primary. Yes. And, 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 and but we, we will uh, see. I think what the, his hope, if there is a hope for him, is that we have Democrats have, and clearly the DNC and all that that entails, uh, not just people who work there, but the, well, who they represent, just massively underestimated the extent of the dislike for her. And that's not all Republicans. It's like, you yeah. know, and, and so there's some in it. It's also just, us. That's right. That's right. That's right. But they just didn't quite get how how pervasive. And so when you yeah. hate her, dislike her that much, justified or not, and a lot of it is unjustified, um, then the first sign you can get, oh great, I, I, she's she's de she's demented. Like, give me some reason. Right. Yeah. I say Haiti and Honduras uh, justified. Killed hmm. Vince Foster, not justified. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's because yeah. you're a, a sane, rational human being.